Welcome back to Meal Planning Mondays. Yeah, it's that time of week again. It's planning for what we're going to eat this week. So I've had some kind of some questions on how do I stock my pantry? Do I just go buy a whole bunch of stuff and then make my meals around that? Um, what I try to do if there is a grocery store that's not a Walmart that um, has ads like Lowe's or Albertsons, um, basically that's uh, the only ones I've been around recently. So. Um, I get online and I go to their website. Every Wednesday they come out with new new ads. So on Wednesday or Thursday I check the ads. Then I go um, prepare what I want to buy. And then I go buy it. So this last week, and I'm going to base this week's meal on what I bought last week. Well, some of it. But um, this is how I stock my pantry. Um, I don't buy everything that's on sale because, it, you know, that, that's crazy. But the things that I like to eat, I buy it when it's on sale. And then I wait. And then they'll come back on sale again. So this week, um, I'm going to show you the ad and what I bought. And um, I compared the prices with Walmart so you can see um, that I had a good deal. So this was uh, a... i got to put on my glasses. A jumbo pack so you have to buy the big things of chicken and I bought the chicken thighs and I've already um, separated it into I think four baggies so we'll get four meals out of this and it was a dollar a pound and Walmart I just looked theirs up and the same type of chicken was a dollar seventy seven a pound so, got a good deal. And let's look at my. I should have highlighted this. Um, jumbo thigh pack. I paid $5.87. I don't know if that's going to show up. But look what I saved. I saved five dollars and eighty. Oh, I paid five eighty-seven and I saved five eighty-one. So there's the savings. Maybe you can see that. So I look at and we had already bought a pork butt roast for a dollar a pound. I still have three quarters in my freezer, so this time I opted for the chicken. So that's how I shop. Let me show you. More. I didn't get a whole lot. Um, everything, this is dollar days. So what did I buy on the dollar days? I bought... I'm not sure. Well, I bought the ranch style beans. I bought two cans of this. You didn't have to buy two cans, but it shows it. But I bought two cans for a dollar, and um, I just looked up Walmart, and they sell it for a dollar twenty-four. So that's how I put things into my pantry. Is I only try only to buy things that are on sale to put in my pantry. So remember my pantry list. I added ranch style beans, two cans. So that's how it gets into my pantry, and then I build my meals around what's in my pantry. So we had the chicken piccata last week, so now I'm out of spaghetti sauce. Only had one to begin with, so mark that one off. Obviously, I won't have to redo this every so often. And I'm going to try, we're going to travel tomorrow, so I've been trying to get ready to get on the road so I'm going to make one of these for my freezer because my freezer right now is pretty full. Had some chicken leftovers um, when I made the, what did I make? Oh, that Chipotle chicken. I had a lot of chicken left over. So I'm going to make chicken enchiladas out of that. You'll see that coming up on the meal plan. Back to the ad. 
All right, so this is the shampoo that I use, VO5. It's the cheapest you can buy. <laughs> I'm frugal. It used to be a dollar at Walmart. Um, so I picked up one of these because it's a dollar here at Albertsons. So um, the one at Walmart is a dollar fourteen. Now I've just noticed that they've had a um, increase in price, but they've also increased by one ounce. So um, this is my old bottle. This is a fifteen ounce bottle of um, VO5, and the new one, new size, more value. This is the bigger one. So um, this one is sixteen nine. So it's sixteen nine. So it's almost two ounces more, and it's one one fourteen. So I was not aware of that till I got this one from Walmart and was like, wait a minute, this one's bigger. That's that's odd. Usually everything's getting smaller. So this one fourteen is for this sixteen point nine ounce. So. But it used to be a dollar at Walmart. I knew it had gone up, and I was not aware of. Um, they've also added some. So, good deal there anyway. Um, for a dollar for 15 ounce. That's what it used to be. So, um, I also bought sweet potatoes. I only bought two. We're going to have some sweet potato fries this week in the air fryer. So, I bought them for a dollar at Walmart. They're a dollar seventy four a pound. So, I saved it. Um, a lot of money. Good good deal there. So, let's see. Sweet potatoes. Yeah, uh, for those two, I spent a dollar eight. So, that wasn't bad. All right. So, that's just a little bit about how I put things in my pantry. And then I build my meals around my pantry instead of the other way around. So, now, there is some times that I'm craving something. Or I'm doing a special video like the chicken piccata. I mean, it's uh, or the chipotle bowls that was special things. But um, sometimes I'm like, ooh, I want to make this recipe, and yeah, I have to go to the store and get the ingredients that I don't have. But anyway, um, but that's special, special ones. I do also want to um, comment on. Some of the comments that I've been getting about people are like, oh, I'm not that organizer. I'm not that, um, what is it, uh, detailed or whatever. Now, there's sometimes that I don't follow this exactly. You know, things come up. I'm not in the mood to cook. I'm not in the mood to eat that. Um, so, like, for example, in the last weeks, I did chick kick the chicken piccata that video is coming out no it already came out no it's coming out <laughs> i don't remember where i've got them scheduled but anyway actually i'm filming this on sunday so i think it's coming out tonight uh so i did not make the meatloaf um and i didn't do the liver and onions at uh, liver and onions well, I usually cook onions with it too, but um, liver and enchiladas. So the, the liver is still in my freezer. So it's okay, you know, it's like it'll get back on rotation at some point. So, um, but I just want to address that. I don't eat, follow this to the T, you know, 100%, because like I said, sometimes it's like, and then you got travel days. And so it's a guideline and, um, I can go back and look at it now and go, oh yeah, I got, I'm got. i going to do those beef, um, the liver and onions, or liver and enchiladas. So you may see it on another meal plan coming up. I just want to address that now. But anyway, let's get started. Show you what I've got going for this week. All right, let's get started. So I already mentioned that um, tomorrow, Monday, is a travel day, so... Yeah, we don't do any kind of major cooking or anything, so I don't even have anything planned. So, nothing for Monday. So, those chicken thighs that I bought, I'm going to utilize some of those, and I'm going to have a five-spice chicken. Have you ever had that? 
five spice chicken. I think I look up recipes a lot and I use a lot of recipes from um, budgetbites.com and I think it's on her website but this is one one of the I've never tried this brand, but I had to get it on Amazon. You can't find it very much, or I don't know that I've ever found it anywhere um, other than Amazon. But the last one I tried was not this brand. So this one got a lot of good reviews. So this is what I bought, and I hadn't had it. And since I lived in my sticks and bricks, I was looking at old recipes, and I was like, oh, I love that. I put that on the meal plan. And those sweet potatoes, I don't know, sweet potato fries, I want some, so I'm going to put them with this. I don't know how well it's going to go, but sweet potato fries, I already got the sweet potatoes. I'll do those in the air fryer. So, let's see, I need to get the chicken out of the freezer. What does yellow mean? I should put a legend. Check out chicken out of the freezer. Alright, and I'm going to have some beef in the freezer. No, make me another list. I already said that, that I'm gonna uh, make so we can look at what's in my freezer. So I'm gonna have beef. And this is another recipe. How funny. Beef and cabbage. I think it's kind of like a Chinese stir fried too, because um, it's got a little soy sauce in it. But I got that one off of Budget Bites. I must have been looking at that website this, from the, uh, the last few weeks. Uh, so I have hamburger meat. So hamburger meat. And I bought me a cabbage when I was at. Albertsons or Walmart. I don't remember. I had to go to Walmart for a few things, but not really food related. But I bought me a cabbage, so um, I was wanting to cook this. I hadn't had it that in a long time. So Thursday, since we have cabbage, and I'm only going to probably use a half a head of cabbage, what do you do with the other half? Have fish tacos. <laughs> and I make uh, coleslaw out of cabbage. I make my own coles uh, coleslaw. So um, I'll use the rest of the cabbage for fish tacos. I already have um, flour tortillas. And this is tilapia or cod. I can't remember. I buy it in a bag. It's like this. Um, and it's like 10, 10 to a bag or something like that in the freezer section. And then I'll make fish tacos. And I usually blacken them. I use a blackening sauce, a uh, seasoning with the fish. And then I use... Uh, flour tortillas, sometimes corn tortillas. It doesn't matter which whichever I have on hand. And then I make my own coleslaw. Okay, let's see. Friday. We've had some Chinese. We've had some fish. I think I'm Mexican. <laughs> I'd mentioned earlier that I had frozen chicken from the chicken piccata, or not chicken, from the chipotle chicken. So, um, I'm going to make chicken enchiladas. I'll dice this up real good and put it in uh, corn tortillas. And when I was at Walmart the other day, I went ahead and bought the 505 green chili sauce that we like real well. So, I might do, oh, I guess I should write it down here, huh? chicken enchiladas. Um, 
I need corn tortillas, but I have them, so. And I also have the sauce, as you saw. Saw the sauce? You saw the sauce. And great fried beans, nothing. Sometimes we just eat chicken enchiladas, and that's it. So I need to get the chicken out of the freezer. Well, I'm going to have to remember to get all this stuff out of the freezer. This is the Chipotle. Chipotle chicken, and this is chicken thighs. So don't get confused. This is one of those that I don't know if we'll have leftovers or not. Um, I'm not 100% sure that we will. If we have some, we'll have leftovers. If not, I have some uh, pizza, frozen pizza. So this one, this night's up in the air from Domino's. <laughs> Did y'all see that video? Or, um, Deborah ordered pizza in Pahrump. <laughs> I mean, you can't call them and cancel it. That was pretty funny. So, anyway, I have uh, probably four or five pieces of pizza left over. So, I always put it in the freezer and then I come back to it and eat it later. All right. Uh, remember the potatoes? I still have potatoes. So, we're going to have baked potatoes and I have sour cream since I had all these potatoes I bought sour cream butter I'm getting low on butter I think so I need to buy butter oh what do we do we put it over here and then <laughs> I've forgotten how to I have uh and I think instead of just a, oh, and cheese, I've got cheese. And have y'all ever tried this roast beef from Walmart? It's not cheap. It's good, and we can both eat um, not one can if we're going to both eat it by itself or in a burrito it probably needs two cans so it's not really cheap but it's good to have on hand when you're hungry and you just want something really fast so and it's also good to fill a baked potato so um roast beef put some cheese on that it's really good so i think that's it on and I don't know here pizza if, if we don't have leftovers I think that is just about it so there's another week and I don't really need to go to the grocery store I have butter but I'm getting low on butter so anyway I will make sure that that gets on the list the butter but Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Mm -hmm.